Greetings, YouTube. A good deal of what we consider Western culture is based on the classical era of the Greeks and the Romans. And amongst those cultures, men didn't wear trousers. They wore togas or skirts, kilts, especially in the military. It should come as no surprise that when they expanded, particularly the Romans, they took these fashions with them. Eventually, they did encounter peoples who were wearers of trousers, the Germanic tribes, the Celts. And over time, the Roman cultures began to fuse with these other cultures, particularly at the near the end of the Roman Empire. They get to a certain point where it was really difficult to tell where the Roman Empire ended and where it began, and, and where the, the uh, quote unquote barbarians began. And eventually, Western culture slowly shifted for that men wore pants. And that was then transported to North America. And North Americans, being North Americans, one of the first things we did was begin to codify things. And eventually, start to create codes, actual codes, and eventually laws about what you could and couldn't wear. At one time, in the 20th century, it was illegal for a man to wear female clothing and illegal for a woman to wear male clothing. You could be fined. You could be arrested. Yes, this is absurd, but it's true nonetheless. Over time, those standards began to be, become relaxed, at least where women were concerned. Women could start to wear pants. And eventually, it trickled down to all aspects of our society. And now, women in pants is considered perfectly acceptable everywhere in America. There are some exceptions, uh, particularly formal occasions, almost always require a woman to wear a skirt or a dress. Um, but in everyday casual environments, both in personal and in uh, business, pants are just as common as uh, skirts or a dress. And in fact, in some industries, I would imagine that pants are more common for women. I know at my company, I work at a factory, all the women wear pants. Um, there are no uh, people wearing skirts and, and dresses at my company. It's not allowed. Um, we have a, co a dress code because of safety concerns. Shorts have to be a certain length. Um, you can't wear anything that exposes your stomach, for example. And when you're actually running a machine, you have to make sure that your arms are covered from your fingertips to your shoulder. Um, and I wear uh, removable cotton sleeves on my arms under, on, underneath my t-shirt every day. So dress codes are still in force in America, but not normally in public. So a woman walking down the street in a dress, or skirt, or pants, it doesn't arouse anyone's attention whatsoever. However, if you are male and you are not wearing pants, that is going to get you attention. If you're wearing a kilt, people are going to notice. And if you're wearing a skirt, a decidedly feminine garment of clothing, then yes, people are going to look. So the question I have today is, should boys in school be allowed to wear skirts? At one time, girls would not have been allowed to wear pants. And now, because of personal taste, or gender identity, some boys want to wear skirts. This is causing a controversy in some places in America. But if girls can have their options of either skirts or pants, and boys are not allowed to have both those same options, that's discrimination. Now some argue that a boy in a skirt is putting himself at danger, that he may be attacked by other males who are, um, some for some reason, uh, intimidated by the fact that uh, that a male is wearing a feminine piece of clothing, and in that particular case, I think any school administrator that has that thinks that his students will be put in danger because of a piece of clothing they wear should quit and move on to a different industry because they are a failure as a school administrator. A boy in a skirt is not going to cause any more controversy than a girl in a pair of pants, except to the observer person wearing it isn't causing any problems. It's the observers and their attitudes that are really the key here. 
Now, unfortunately, schools have shown time and again that students do not have the full spectrum of civil rights that an adult has. Freedom of speech is very limited in school. I know, I used to be a member of the literary magazine in high school, and I am more than one occasion butted heads with my teacher, uh, the teacher who was our advisor, because we did not have the full range of freedom of expression, which angered me then, and frankly, it angers me now. How are we going to teach students about freedom of expression if we don't give them the right to express themselves freely? But I don't think it's an issue about violence in schools. It makes some people uncomfortable. It undermines their view of what it is to be male, and they don't like that. Some people say, oh, that's a good excuse for school uniforms, which I assume would all have to be pants-based, I guess. But I'm against school uniforms, because again, I think it limits everyone's freedom of uh, expression completely. And I don't think it benefits anyone in any way, particularly not if you're um, a low-income family and then you have to afford buying uniforms. Um, for example, I buy almost all the clothing I wear at work, or at least all the pants at work, at, at thrift stores, Goodwill. Um, so I usually spend $6 for $8 for a pair of pants, because I'm wearing them to work. Who cares what they look like? When I was in high school, I wore pants that didn't cost a whole lot more. Um, what I wore, as long as I obeyed the, the laws, uh, was immaterial to me. I didn't care, and I didn't think anyone else should either. And I think that holds true now. What a person does or doesn't wear to school should have no effect upon their education. In fact, I would love to see the entire concept of laws and codes about garments done away with. I would like to have no codes of any kind. That in public, you could be nude anytime you want to. Do away with all nudity laws. Just chuck them out the window. We don't need them. It's the 21st century. If people can't handle looking at another person naked, those people have a problem. It is not going to destroy the world. But, I am in the minority. Most people have a problem with nudity, and most people seem to have a problem with boys in skirts, which is sad. I'm hoping someday that boys can have the same amount of freedom that girls do in school. I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon.